Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, one of the things that I get asked regularly, and it is about the graphics uh, GPU memory and shared memory particularly. So there are two ways that your graphics processor can actually work. One is, and that's probably one of the most popular because most people buy PCs that have onboard graphics processors that actually do not have dedicated memory. So what happens is it actually uses what's called shared memory. It will often have a very small amount of onboard RAM, but most of it when you do things will be actually shared with the main memory. These actually are usually not very good at gaming because they're not meant to be used uh, for gaming for the purpose that sharing memory is very slow and that slows down the graphics GPU itself. So it can't do as much as a dedicated memory GPU. Uh, some of the computers you might purchase, for example, my gaming laptop has two GPUs. There's the main one, the basic one, basically, if you want, but there's also an NVIDIA, which is a dedicated for the gaming part of the machine, and it has its own RAM. I got six gigabytes of RAM for it. So it uses its own memory, which is a much faster way of actually working. So there's a couple of questions people are asking with this. One of them is, uh, first of all, uh, can I shut down the main or the, the dedicated GPU and just use the gaming GPU? You can if you want. Uh, most of the gaming machines will let you disable one of the GPUs and the BIOS, or the UEFI BIOS. And that means that the higher-end GPU will work. But keep in mind that if it's a laptop, um, your computer will use more power because it's always using the higher-end GPU. And so battery life might actually suffer from this. The other thing, can I lower shared memory? Can I actually tell my GPU to use less. Uh, this might be an option in some machines, but not all of them. Some machines might have an option in the BIOS, once again, where you can actually tell it to choose a certain amount of gigabytes and do not go higher than that. Um, one of the reasons why is simple is because that GPU memory that you use is taken off of the memory, the main memory of your computer. So the more the GPU uses memory, the less RAM you have for your programs and software and your computer. Now, usually what I will tell everybody is to leave it alone. You're better off just adding RAM rather than lowering the amount of gigabytes your GPU might use. But in general, unless you're gaming, Keep in mind that most GPUs, even though they have a certain amount of shared memory, like here, the Iris has a possibility of eight gigabytes. It's only using half of one. Um, it rarely uses more than one or two gigabytes in general, unless you're really heavy gaming. But even then, you won't do much heavy gaming on a, a, a dedicated or on a onboard GPU that's a basic graphics adapter, basically. So you better leave it alone because it's not taking it automatically. So you see here it says that you're allowed 7.9, but if I look at my memory usage, I'm using right now in use 7.1. Um, and that means that technically I still have 8 gigabytes available. So a little more than 8 gigabytes. So that tells you that you know the graphics GPU isn't using much. It's really the main system that's using most of the RAM. Um, and so it's only used when needed. So don't worry about, you know, um, if it's, it says that it's using six gigabytes shared memory, it's not using it. It uses what it needs. The rest is still available for your system. So there's no really no need to actually play with this and change anything, honestly. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.